Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I have some Always Been You romance book recs. These are books where the two main characters, or maybe one of the main characters, sort of was like, no, it was always you that I was supposed to be with, even if they sort of dated other people over the years, they've always kind of come back to this one person. And so that's what we're going to talk about today, so let's get right to the books. <music> So the first book is All the Little Lies by S.J. Silvis. This is a bully romance. It follows a girl who ends up in foster care and she ends up going back to a school that her sort of ex-childhood best friend goes to and he is sort of resentful towards her. He blames her for things that have happened in his life and so he is like a super jerk to her but they were like best friends when they were kids and they were always like hanging out together and now they are obviously in high school and he is being a jerk to her but obviously that's not the end of it. Um, this one definitely gave me like the always been you vibes because like they've been best friends since they were kids and they were always hanging out together and different things and he's just sort of always there for her even when he is like bullying her like you can tell deep down that he probably does still like her and this one definitely I think fell into this category. I really really liked this one. It was a really good bully romance as well. Next is The Understatement of the Year by Serena Bowen. This is number three in the Ivy Year series but it can be read as a standalone so you can totally read it by itself. And this one follows two guys who are on a hockey team and back when they were in high school I believe they were kind of together but they weren't really like labeling it that they were together. They were just kind of like fooling around together and didn't think really much of it but it ends up one of them sort of leaves and for a couple years and doesn't come back and now they're in college and one of the guys has been transferred to the other guys hockey team and they're now playing together again but the guy that was already on the hockey team pretends he doesn't know the other guy even though they were basically dating in high school and he doesn't want his team to know that he's into guys or anything like that yet because he's never dated a guy in front of them and so there's sort of that going on as well but I think this one definitely had those vibes because obviously like they were together when they were kids even when they didn't really know what they were doing and I just really really like this one it is obviously a hockey romance which I also really love I love Serena Bowen's hockey books they're all pretty good to be honest. This series I will say is my least favorite of hers but this book is the best book in the series so maybe just read this one. I did really enjoy it personally. Next is Unconditional by QB Tyler and QB Tyler's books, I feel like I always have to say this, are super like forbidden taboo kind of things. They're never just like normal books. They always have something that you're kind of like a little bit cringy about like you're like oh if this happened in real life I absolutely would not support it but in this book I'm totally fine with it and that's pretty much describes all of QB Tyler's books and this one in particular is about a guy who is a cop and he's in his early 20s I believe sort of just starting his career as a cop when there is a murder suicide that he is like responding to and there is a girl that is hiding in the closet and I believe she's like seven or eight at the time maybe and she is like hiding and obviously both her parents are now dead and she won't leave this cop like she's hanging off his leg like will not leave him and he's like okay fine like we'll fill out the paperwork I'll take her home for tonight and then tomorrow we can like get her into the foster system or figure out if she's got family or like whatever and so they're like yeah okay sounds good and she goes home with him and basically never leaves he is like I said Kibi Tyler's books are always a little kind of iffy but he is her legal guardian for her childhood and teen years. He never adopts her though, which I think <laughs> makes it somewhat better, I guess. Um, she is his ward, I guess you could say. He's her guardian, but they're never like parent and child. Like he, she never calls him dad. They never have that kind of relationship. They're more just like roommates, even though she's like seven when she moves in with him and she's now older obviously I believe this one happens right when she's about to turn 18 usually Hubie Tyler's books take place when the girl's about to turn 18 and that is sort of what goes on but I feel like this one definitely had those vibes where this guy was obviously you know had the option to date other girls and different things but just never did and she from like the moment she met him was like obsessed with him and it's definitely got those like always only you vibes where like it was always them for each other even though it was a little strange. I did like how this book dealt with it towards the end when 
you know, things were kind of getting iffy. She was still 17, I think, and he was like, no, we can't do this. And I liked how he handled it in a way that I felt like was reasonable for what was going on. And so I really like this one. Like I said, go into it knowing that you probably wouldn't approve of it in real life, but it is a really good book. Next is Always Been You by Kiwi Tyler. I feel like the title of this is like very obviously fitting to this trope. This is another one, like I said, one root for it in real life, but in the book, it's fine. This one follows, I believe her name was Gabrielle, and she is adopted by James's family when he is 13 and she is like two, I think. But he pretty much is there for five years and then goes off to college and never comes home. So she really only knows him from the time she's about two to seven is like when they're living together and then he goes off and lives his life as like an adult and she's still being raised in this house and this book follows them where they're going home for Christmas and they're like carpooling or they're flying home together or whatever and so she goes to spend the night at his apartment before they leave and she's older now obviously she's in college and things start coming out that like you know maybe they weren't seeing each other as siblings and this one definitely like I said even the title of the book falls into the trope like it's hinting at that and this one definitely felt like that where it was like these two were like meant to be together and I just I really love QB Tyler's books and I love that she can take things that are like super cringy in real life and make you root for them because I think that's just like funny and so this one is a really good one as well I really enjoyed it next is Little Lies by H Hunting or Helena Hunting and this is one of my favorite Helena Hunting books I absolutely loved this one this one is like the third like spin-off of the Pucked series so there is like the Pucked series and then there's the All In series which is a spin-off of the Pucked series and then there's this series which I think is called something Hearts and Truths Lies Hearts and Truths maybe and this is the first book in that new series so this is actually the next gen series so this follows the kids of the couples from the Pucked series and the All In series and I really really love this one like I said I gave this one five stars when I read it like I just absolutely fell in love with it this one follows Lavender and Kodiak. Lavender is the daughter of the couple from the first Pucked book and Kodiak is the son of the couple from the first All In book and they are in college together. She is living with her brother and all of his roommates and Kodiak is one of her brother's best friends so he's around all the time but he's kind of a jerk to her at the beginning of the book but you also know that they were like best friends when they were kids like completely inseparable like just obsessed with each other and he's kind of being a jerk to her in this book and you don't really like super understand why until later on but this one I just I really really love this one it is a hockey romance it is a college set romance I just really really loved this one and how it was written it was really good it definitely has the like always been you vibes because they've like literally since they were kids been like inseparable and even now like when she is when he's being a jerk to her he's still kind of looking out for her all the time it was just really sweet I really obviously love this one I keep saying that it's like probably one of my favorite books I've read this year I really really liked it next is Always Only You by Chloe Lee. this is the second book in the Bergman Brothers series it is a standalone you can totally read it on its own this is another hockey romance it follows a hockey player and the team's social media assistant and this one I think also really has those vibes and I don't really want to say why because I'm pretty sure with this one it was kind of like a thing that like it would be like kind of a spoiler if I told you why I thought it was like that but it definitely had those vibes and I just thought this one was really sweet the guy in this book is super super sweet it's grumpy sunshine and he's the sunshine and he's just like the happiest dude ever like he's like a human golden retriever like he's literally like just like the happiest dude on the planet and this girl is super grumpy and she I believe has like arthritis or some kind of like chronic pain thing going on because she walks with a cane and she kind of has like a lot of health issues that she's dealing with and so she's kind of grumpy all the time and he's like the sunshine it's just a really cute one it's definitely got the always been you obviously the title again is very similar to even being like always been you and this one's really good as well. Next is Corrupt by Penelope Douglas, which I feel like is such a random book in this video because I feel like it doesn't really fit with the rest of them. This one is about a guy and all of his friends. This is the first one in the series, but it this is the only one I think that can be read as a standalone. Personally, I would just read it as a standalone. I didn't love the rest of the series. I thought this one was the best. This one follows a girl who kind of always wanted to hang out with these guys. They go out on what they call Devil's Night, which I believe was the night before Halloween and they like pull all kinds of pranks and stuff and she always wanted to go with them 
she finally does and I believe now you're in that's like in the past and you're fast forwarding between then and the present where she is older and these guys are kind of out to get her basically because they think that she ratted them out the year that she went with them and so they're like being super mean to her and the one guy Michael is like really obsessed with her he is the only one that didn't go to prison so they're sort of convinced that it was her because she liked him and so he's like the one that's sort of really going after her and I just feel like this one definitely had those vibes even though it was like a little bit crazier and definitely more like a bully kind of romance book and a little bit darker but it just like still felt like it was they were always meant for each other like even when they were in high school and I just really got those vibes from this one. Next is Bad Girl Reputation by L. Kennedy. This is the second book in the Avalon Bay series. This one follows a couple who was together in high school and kind of got up to all kinds of trouble together in the town and they were kind of known as like the troublemakers and the girl decides that she doesn't want to do that anymore. She wants to grow up like get a life kind of thing. So she moves out of the town and says like I'm done. I'm gonna go you know become an adult basically and this guy is just left there and then it's like a year later and her mom dies so she comes back to the town for the funeral and this guy is of course still there and they kind of you know get back to talking and she's like I really don't want to go back to what we were doing before and he's kind of figuring out like what that means for him and like how maybe he may have to change for that and just kind of going along with that but this one definitely gave me those vibes too because like they were always together when they were kids and like when they were younger and they were dating and it just like really felt like even if the other like if they dated another person like it would never be the same as it was with this person and so it definitely gave me those vibes it was really cute like small town romance as well and lastly is Love at First Fight by Carrie Ahrens this one is about a girl who ends up dating her ex's best friend and her name is Cass and she basically was dating this guy Justin and they had booked out this sort of summer home in the Hamptons for the whole summer with a bunch of Justin's friends and Justin ends up breaking up with her right before the summer via text saying he's moving to Singapore and basically like they're done and doesn't tell her he's moving like nothing like literally just says yeah we're done and leaves and she decides she's gonna go to this like beach house anyway and just like hang out with her friends and whatever and she goes and her ex Justin's best friend Smith is there who has been an absolute jerk to her basically since she's ever met him and so she's like sort of dreading it and he is in the room next to her so they're seeing each other all the time and he's kind of always making fun of her and different things and she ends up finding out that he has liked her since the first time he saw her but she was dating his best friend so he couldn't say anything about it and this one I feel like definitely on his side had those vibes where he definitely like from the moment he saw her he was like not gonna be happy with anyone else and so I think definitely from his perspective in this one it was like the always been you trope definitely like boy falls first too because like he literally like was in love with her like the first time he met her and she had no idea and so that one definitely I think falls under this category as well from his perspective so those are all the books I have for you today thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below I do new book videos every single week and I'll see you next time